again. It's I'm recording this video at the same hour at 3.30 in the morning because of rude apartment neighbors above and next door. In fact, it's gotten so bad that I drew this out. <laughs> apartment living has literally gone to hell. It, it has. I mean, it's me with my eyes wide open and bloodshot because I can't get any sleep. I mean, last night, people above were going to 3 a.m. in the morning. So, get tired of it. I can't sleep. And... Today is Monday. When this video goes up, it's going to be the first day out of the holidays. I can start looking around, and hopefully by the within the next week or two, I am either moving to a different apartment in this complex, or I'm moving somewhere else and getting out of the situation. So at least I can start doing more video reviews and stuff that people want me to do, and can't do it because of the situation right now. So let's let's get to what I got for Christmas. The first thing I got for Christmas, this came from a YouTube gift exchange. Um, YouTuber is Toden K. So he got me this very chef jacket that looks like a police bomb. Yeah, it looks like a police squad, bomb squad thing. It really does look like it. <laughs> uh, it's up the wrong way. Hold on. There we go. That's better. So you can see chef on the back. You can see... Almost, what, 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 almost kind of like what you would get if you're in a bomb squad. So this came from Think Geek. And I definitely like it. Thank you very much for sending that. And I look forward. I'll definitely try it out here. But I got more than that. Um, before I show what I got for Christmas, I'm going to show you a few Christmas cards. First off, if y'all knew, y'all saw this. The uh, It's another great Christmas and that. This is the one I drew. A lot of people got to see it. They put a smile on their face. I think I came up with the most, the most unique Christmas card for the Christmas season, and I'm very happy with it. Alright, the first one was from Broad Cables, which I... This person right there, she does me very well, and I hope send her their social media feeds. They're from Rome, Georgia, so... That's what the front. We'll start to the side. Um, this is an energy company out of Switzerland, and they have a headquarters... They have a American headquarters in Georgia, West Georgia, so... Might be working with some more of them this year. The next one I got this is my grandparents' Christmas card, and it's very, very neat. I like it. For my grandma, grandpa, just a simple message. I like the front. That looks very neat. Uh, Gone in the Snow Dog sent me their Christmas card. Happy Holidays, Shelby, Memphis, and Oakley. Oh, they're very cute dogs. <laughs> uh, this is my department manager's Christmas card. They hang it on the door. I'm going to say Merry Christmas, you know, in the park gym and Catholic Hall. And, um, Day by Dairy to Farm Girl Way sent me kind of a Christmas card stuff. Um, and basically it's just a long letter. And let's look at the back. Um, this is a wildlife Ruby potato in Oklahoma. Um, she does runs her own site. This is, she has a deer that she raised, literally. Um, we have a deer, squirrels, hummingbird. Orphan, you know, I'm going to turn it around. More deer. Uh, squirrels, deer. Yeah, they they raise squirrels, deer. It's a wildlife party out there. And um, it's very fascinating. I've read this. I like it. Thank you very much for sending it. On to the gifts I got. Our Christmas at my mom's house this year was kind of light. Uh, we kind of like to have a lighter Christmas and not go so heavy like other people do. So... I basically got a few gifts to, you know, make me, my life a little easier. I got one of those Keurig coffee maker brewers, you know, those single pod. It doesn't make sense for me to, you know, get a big box coffee for one person. So, also got a little blender for making smoothie stuff. We'll see how that works. Also got an old speed limit sign. Can't wait to hang that on the wall somewhere. <laughs> Probably get a few more signs to go with it. Um, and that's basically it. That's all I got for Christmas this year. Just plain and simple, plain and easy. And that's good because we're heading in, starting, we're now in 2016, we're in the first week of 2016, the holiday's over, and I got five big things that is going to happen by, probably happen by the end of January. So this is going to be a very busy month for me. First off, move, move, move. I am going to be moving by the end of January because the current situation I'm in now is not going to work. I can't stay up to 3, 30, 40 in the morning to do these videos and then wake up the neighbors and they complain and... You know, the stomping, the screaming, the police coming out, it's all going to stop because I'm either going to move to a different apartment or I'm going to move somewhere else but in January. And Mom, Mom, I hope you help me in moving because you're going to have to. <laughs> but I'm going to be moving. This is 
it's over with. I'm getting tired of it. I can't live like this anymore. You don't pay for an apartment and then you can't sleep. You just can't do that. So step one for me is going to move. Step two is going to be redesigning the site and moving self-hosting. Um, I got a few people who want me to do that. I've got to do that. I've got the, I'm more financially secure now, so now I can make the move. I'm still looking for themes. Um, I don't have to sign on yet, but I'm also going to move to self-hosting. I haven't signed on one hosting yet. Not Bluehost, <laughs> but somebody else. But I got 5,000, about 5,500 posts we're going to have to move, including all the pictures and stuff. So it's, it's going to be a long move, but it's going to be done. And I can't wait to update to get Yavam a look with a new site, a new look, a faster web page. Make everyone very, very happy. Step three is I'm going to get a little healthier. Um, we have no money. You can't, it's very hard to get healthy. All you do is walk on the side of the road. So I'm thinking about getting a Fitbit, which a lot of other people do, including a lot of YouTubers. And plus, I can hold me accountable. Um, I'm also might join a gym later on, not this month, because I know everybody wants to go to the gym for the New Year's resolutions and they'll quit one in the first month. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Step four is to get a brand new computer. The one I have now that I'm editing the videos on, you know, half the latch is gone. One of the side the latch is gone. It's breaking. It's on Windows and Vista. Um, I've got to upgrade that computer because if I don't upgrade it, it means it's not going to be good when it comes to, you know, getting the blog done, getting the work I need to get done, and I'm mean, have no computer. I have no way to do it. So a new computer is a must. I'm probably going to go look for a desktop. Probably the two-screen experience where I can do gaming because I've done have a lot of people request me to play games, review them for the site. So I'm gonna just get start doing that, which will be great. And that means I can do more videos, more things, more great, you know, more social media, more presentations, more everything. I cannot wait. We can get a new computer so we can get the food moving forward. And that leads me to step five. I'm gonna do a lot more pictures, more event photos, more videos. I got a lot. I have video ideas I'm planning on doing in 2015. I can't wait to start doing them. Um, maybe I'm going to get another camera, probably a microphone, probably another light or two. Uh, we'll see where I move to, depending on what, how much light and stuff I'll get. But I want to do more cooking videos, more new satire, more geeky stuff, more gaming videos. I, I want to pick up my media coverage because 2015 was kind of light because of waiting for the disability stuff and everything, which is now over with. So now I can really get moving. And... I'm going to be getting moving in January, so this will not be a light month. Uh, there might not be a lot on the Geek Album site, but I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes across the month of January to get ready for basically February, because January is kind of a light month when it comes to a lot of things. It's not a lot going on in January, so if I had to wait to February to really get going, fine. I don't mind that, so if you only see three or four posts a day on the site, you know, don't worry, I'm going to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff to get ready. And there you go. That's what I got for Christmas, what I'm planning to do for the first part of 2016. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. This will probably be the last video for a little while until I've moved. So, enjoy. So, I'm sorry. I can't put out more videos, but we got to take care of this apartment situation first because you can't have sound interference and rude, rude neighbors ruin it for you. Y'all have a great geeky and every day. You got. See you later.